Welcome to the Crypto Sphere. This is Cryptogenic coming at you. Today is Friday, March 17th at about 8 a.m. here in Northern California. We're going to take a look at these crypto charts to try to get a feel for what's going on in the market. Has the bull run begun? Are we going to break higher from here? Or is this just a dead cat bounce? And are we going to see the market go tumbling down? Let's jump right into the charts and uh, take a look see shall we this is the weekly bitcoin chart and as we can see we've got a nice strong breakout above the 200 week moving average that is very hopeful is it not very bullish we have um how much longer on this candle two days and nine hours before this candle this weekly candle closes if this candle closes above the yellow line, the 200-week moving average, that is a very strongly bullish sign. It probably indicates that we're going to proceed towards 33,000, and then if we break above that, the next target will be 54,000. So this could be at least a midterm bullish sign uh, that the market is going to move higher. The question is, uh, how do we know? What if we pull back between now and Sunday afternoon and break down? Are there any signs? And in order to answer that question, we've got to drill down and zoom in a little bit. This is the daily chart. Now, here's what I'm seeing on the daily chart. What I'm seeing on the daily chart is, number one, that was a nice breakout in the RSI. We were seeing bearish divergence in the RSI. Notice we were printing higher highs and lower highs in the RSI. That's bearish divergence. And this is a corrective pattern. This is an ascending broadening wedge, which bespeaks the coming of a breakdown. Well, we got that breakdown in the price. So the, the bearish divergence in the RSI actually played out in the price. And we hit the measured objective of that breakdown perfectly, almost to the penny, almost to the dollar. You see that the depth of this was 12.92%. And uh, the depth of this breakdown was basically, I'd be willing to bet, how oh, we can never get it exact. But at any rate, pretty much we hit the measured objective of this breakdown pretty much perfectly. And we basically touched that measured objective and then broke out again. And so now we've got a breakout. We've broken above that trend line, which invalidates the bearish divergence. And now we're heading back towards the top of this trend line, right? 27,000 incoming very quickly. And so the question is, what is, what is about to become of this move? Well, what I'm saying is now on the daily chart, we're reaching for the overbought position. I don't think it's got more than two to three to four more days before it tops out in the overbought position. Now that in and of itself is not necessarily meaningful. You see here, we topped out in the overbought position and we start the RSI started to make lower highs, but the price still had a considerable ways to go up. If we just take a look at the date from the, the top of the RSI to the top of the price was 36 days and another 20%, right? So, we could see something like that again, right? We could top out in the RSI, the RSI start to move down, but the price continue moving up for even a month. I mean, that's definitely possible. So what we have to do is zoom into smaller time frames to get a feel for what's going to happen there. And what we see is that on the four hour chart, the RSI topped out on the 14th of March, and now we're making lower highs. This is bearish divergence. We made a higher high in the price, a lower high in the RSI. So this is telling us that on the four hour chart, the momentum has peaked out. It's topped out. And now we're getting bearish divergence in the RSI, uh, which indicates that the price is probably going to break down. The question is how soon? Now, when you come over here to the one hour chart, what you see is that we were in this ascending narrowing wedge, okay? And uh, we can also see bearish divergence in the RSI. We made a higher high here in the price.
and a lower high here in the RSI. Okay, so we can see that. But even more importantly, the RSI on the one hour chart has topped out. Okay, now we can see bearish divergence in the one hour chart, of course. What we could see is the RSI come back up for another swipe and then get rejected and go lower. Meanwhile, the price comes up and goes higher, right? I actually expect to see this. I look for bearish divergence. Seeing divergences in the RSI between the price and the RSI is kind of the bread and butter of my, my technical analysis. That's uh, core to my technique. And so I kind of start to smell it out. And, and uh, this is kind of what I'm smelling out here. Uh, we could even see that bearish divergence continue where we get another swipe and even another higher high. And what starts to happen is you start to, to draw a trend line here, but at a certain point, the price catches up with the RSI. The momentum in the RSI, if it's going down, eventually the price catches up with the RSI and we break down. And if Bitcoin breaks down, the first support is 23,900, basically 24,000. And then the second support here on the one hour is 22,000. Okay. Now, if we go backward a little bit, let's say to the daily chart, um, what was I looking at? Okay. So on my Patreon, I posted this chart the other day, by the way, check out my Patreon at crypto, uh, patreon.com slash cryptogenic. Patreon.com slash cryptogenic. Right now, I've got two levels. Uh, the first is $9, and the second is $19. And at the $19 level, this is the premium tier, you get all my trading uh, calls and everything, all my trading calls and everything. It's a highly profitable level, so check that out. Um, but coming back over here, I posted... Uh, where's the BTC chart that I posted... Here it is. Okay, I posted this yesterday, but on my phone. Okay, so this is a daily chart. Let me see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, here's how I did that. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, if you chart the breakdown from the top to the bottom... It's about a 15, 16% breakdown. That's the depth of this wedge. And once we break down, yeah, that doesn't take us quite as low as I thought here. So I was charting 17. Not sure how I did that. But at any rate, uh, we could break back down to the $19,500 level. Should we get rejected up here at 27,000, we could see a move back down to the $19,000 level. And so it's just a matter of watching this chart. However, what is also possible, and we could see this on the one hour chart, what's also possible, let me just get rid of this stuff so that we can see this more clearly, is that while the RSI recovers, so the RSI has to, to make its way back towards the bottom in order to build enough momentum to, for the price to break out again. But the, that doesn't mean the price has to break all the way down. While the RSI recovers, the price could just do this and move sideways and then break out again. Okay? So that's definitely possible. So the fact that we're seeing... The RSI topping out on the one hour, the four hour, and close to topping out on the daily. I mean, we've topped out on the one hour. We've topped out and made bearish divergence on the four hour. And we're reaching the top on the, on the daily. The fact that that is the case does not of necessity mean that the price is going to tumble all the way down. Okay? It could just mean the price is going to go sideways. So the question is, is there more data for us to determine... Uh, with better accuracy, which direction the market is going to go. And to answer that question, I always like to look at the U.S. dollar index because remember, 
there is an inverse correlation between the U.S. dollar index and all other assets. Remember, this is the key to understanding the economy in the United States, not just the United States, but the world. There's an inverse correlation between assets and cash. Assets and cash cannot go up at the same time. When the value of assets increases, it means that it is increased relative to cash, right? So if the value of Bitcoin goes from, say, uh, 20, 25,000 to 50,000, it has gone, it means that it is increased against the US dollar. Well, the US dollar cannot increase in value and Bitcoin increase in value at the same time. One of them has to increase in value at a faster rate or at a higher rate than the other. Now, we've talked about how when the Fed raises interest rates, it necessarily increases the value of cash. That's the definition of raising interest rates, increasing the value of cash. When the Fed decreases interest rates, it decreases the value of cash. Now, I've been looking at this chart, and this is my perception of the wave structure of the U.S. dollar index. And if it is true that the U.S. dollar index is coming all the way back up to test the top of this trend line again, then we're going to see a corresponding breakdown in the value of Bitcoin and all other assets, including the, the stock market, the Dow Jones, gold, silver, precious metals, everything else. If the U.S. dollar is truly breaking out to the top of that trend line, then we are going to see a breakdown in every other market. However, if this is incorrect and the U.S. dollar breaks down, then crypto and everything else is going to break out. So what we want to see is, is this correct? Is the U.S. dollar coming up to test the top of this trend line? This is my projection based on Elliott Wave theory. But if we drill in, looking at the daily chart, this is a weekly chart. The daily chart is in a corrective pattern which means that we could see a breakdown in the U.S. dollar. And if we see this breakdown in the U.S. dollar, Bitcoin's going to break out. Bitcoin is going to break above this line. It's going to find support. It'll move sideways till the RSI can recover. And then it's going to break out towards 33,000. Okay? This is a real possibility. Okay? We see this on the daily chart. Now, if we zoom in to the four-hour chart, this chart has a little bit more detail, okay? What we see is that we made bearish divergence in the RSI. Notice we made a higher high in the RSI, lower high in the RSI simultaneously, and then we made a lower high in the price and a lower high in the RSI, which is indicative of the beginning of a downtrend, okay? So what we could be seeing what we very well could be seeing is something like this that follows this downtrend. And this would be the bottom of the, the measured objective starting a breakdown from this trend. This in and of itself is an ascending broadening wedge, which is a corrective trend. And we've got bearish divergence in the RSI. So either, either the DXY, the US dollar index, breaks above this line and breaks above this high and continues upward, or it breaks down. And if it breaks down, the crypto market will break out. If it breaks out, the crypto market will break down. So this is the chart to look at for the next couple days. To, between now and Sunday evening, this is the chart I'm going to be looking at, and this is the chart I'm going to be looking at. And that will determine the future, uh, or at least the short-term future, of the crypto market as we see it. All right, folks, listen, that's all I got for you today. Join my crypto group at the premium level, and we are having a Zoom session tonight at 7 p.m. California time, Friday evening, 7 p.m. California time. Would love to have you in that Zoom meeting. All premium members are invited. $10, $9 a month for the basic membership, and you get a lot of charts at that level. And uh, $19 a month for the premium membership. You get all of the charts at that level and the weekly Zoom meeting. It's the best value in crypto Patreon dome. You're not going to find a better value. So check it out at cryptogenic.com slash Patreon. Looking forward to seeing you there. God bless you. Thank you so much for everything. May the joy of the Lord be your strength and may his favor be your shield. Remember to sleep in peace, wake in joy, walk in love. And this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not telling you what to do. 
just telling you what I see. So take this as entertainment only. God bless you. Have a great week. 